So we're in the back of the aircraft where the med crew sits. Um, we're comprised of a flight nurse and a flight paramedic. Both of us are trained to do each other's job, so to speak. Um, I'll kind of take you around my side of the aircraft, if you will. Um, during a patient flight, um, on my side of the aircraft, I've got the cardiac monitor so we can monitor um, patients. Heart rate, rhythm, um, blood pressure, pulse ox, entitled CO2, uh, we can monitor their temperature. If they have an invasive pressure line, we can we can monitor um, art line pressures to get more accurate blood pressure. Um, so lots of different things we can do with our cardiac monitor. We of course can defibrillate, pace, um, and those kind of things with the monitor. Um, then below that we have our medical bag, or our med bag I guess I should say. Um, we keep all of our medications in here as well as a vent set up. We keep two vent set ups just because we sometimes get called back to back. Um, we have cardiac drugs typically up here um, and then down through here we have a plethora of different drugs pretty much any drug that you could imagine in an ICU or ER setting we have access to um, different vasoactive drip medications um, cardiac medications um, medications to sedate and paralyze patients to intubate them um, and things like that so um, just because of Typically the nurse's background is either ER or ICU and a little bit more with, have a little bit more um, experience with the different drugs. We sit over here and um, pull up the drugs. It's a team effort to do the drug calculation to make sure we don't make an error. Um, well, that's kind of my side of the aircraft. Um, we have our IV pumps we take care of. Um, so any kind of medications that are on an IV drip, um, again, vasoactive medications we do um, through the IV pump because they're very um, specific on how they're given, um, as well as um, any other kind of medications that have to be controlled and how they're given. So, and then we also have our ventilator. Um, and the ventilator, it is just like an ICU ventilator. It um, breathes for the patient, um, different modes, different settings, different amounts of oxygen that we can give. So, um, that's pretty much my side of the aircraft for the most part. Um, I'll turn it over to Steve to take care of his side of the aircraft. All right, so my name is Steve. I'm a paramedic for the AirVac Life Team. I've been a paramedic for about nine years and uh, working in critical care for the last four. So as a paramedic, I work along with a nurse and really it helps to have both of the different backgrounds because you utilizes both of our expertises to combine and really give our patients the best care possible. My partner came from uh, an EMT background and an ICU background and then me being a paramedic I get more of the uh, out in the field type of knowledge. So what we really try to do in here is we're trying to take everything that there might be in an ICU including the monitor, ventilator, medications, IV pumps, and we're configuring it in a fashion that we can use it on adult and pediatric patients and we're going to have it all at our you know at arm's reach while we're at 1500 feet in the air at 100 knots or so so it's really important that we have everything real close to us and then that we're working as a team him using his experience me using mine to treat the patient as best as possible all of our patients are different and they have different needs so we have to really be prepared for anything that they throw at us. Uh, sitting here over here on this side, uh, a little bit more of the medications are on that side. So the challenges I'm looking at is I do a lot of talking with the patient and then I'll do emergency airway management. If you look down here, we have our suction unit and then our red bag right here has all of our airway supplies on it. So if we were up in the air and somebody would require uh, us to start ventilating or oxygenating them, we could drop the patient's head down. Uh, we could have the partner push any medications, do breathing treatments like that. But I would also have control of the patient's airway and the IV access and to the ventilator. So being on the left side, I might have a little bit more hands-on with the patient and uh, a little bit more responsibility for communicating with the patient as well. So I'm really directly monitoring and watching them really closely on this side. Other than that, I think that's good.